Hello everyone, I'm Rakhi Rupani. I'm the communications coordinator for the region. And this time we have BNI Synergy on the chapter spotlight once again. And they wow. are sharing a special milestone with us in becoming platinum. So here we are, we are interviewing Ibrahim, Abdul, and Subash, who are the leadership team. So welcome you guys, welcome. And it's a pleasure to have you all here with us. Thank you. Thank you, Rakhi. Thank you very much. How does it feel? Last last month you've been announced platinum. How is the feeling? Have you guys celebrated, Ibrahim? We always celebrate. <laughs> uh, we celebrated the gold, and we certainly celebrated the uh, platinum, and we are going to celebrate titanium as well. Absolutely. And before we get started, any further questions? Let's get to know each of you for the benefit of the audience. Ibrahim, let's get started by you. Uh, by you, tell us about yourself. About the company you represent and how long you've been with BNI. Um, I represent a company uh, called Stra Execute Consultancy. Basically, I'm in the strategy execution field for SMEs, and I work as their advisor to help them grow their businesses. This is what I do. And most of my clients come from larger mid-market companies uh, with larger teams. With BNI, I've been a member for uh, five years and above now, six year in progress from 2016 onwards. So it's been great so far. Yeah. What got you into BNI, Ibrahim? Uh, one of my clients' friend, um, when I was providing my services to him, he talked about BNI and do you, he, say, he said, do you know about BNI? I said, no. He said, look, uh, go ahead and you know meet with Sean Fernandez, who's my sponsor. And here I am, you know, so it's through referral. Wow, you got into BNI with a referral, into a referral networking organization. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. How about yourself, Abdul? Uh, yes. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Abdul Mujahid, and uh, we are into my company name is Global Corporate Business Advisors. We are into company formation, and we also serve corporates for visa related work. And also, we do a documentation part for mergers and acquisitions. And I'm part, I'm part of this chapter from last uh, eight years, eight years and two months now. And I think that was the best decision I made eight years ago uh, to join BNI and particularly BNI Synergy. Amazing. That's amazing. Eight years is a very long time. And thank you for sharing that with us. How about yourself, the newest of the lot, Subhash? Tell us about yourself. Hello there. Uh, my name is Subhash and I'm from Zenith Marine Services. In the chapter BNI Synergy, I am representing packers and movers, which means uh, we offer end-to-end door-to-door services for your household goods and personal effects. As far as BNI is concerned, I joined BNI two and a half years ago now, I think two years and some five months, uh, running six months. And uh, I was invited by one of my friends uh, who happened to be also a golfer because I am a myself a golfer. So he was there and he said, uh, uh, if you want to grow your business, why don't you come? I will introduce you to one of the platforms where uh, network happens. So first, initially I was a little hesitant because I didn't know about what BNI is, but I, he said, come and just have a look. Uh, and then if you're happy, go ahead and join. When I went over there, I was really, I mean, I was sold on the very first uh, 15 minutes of being into the chapter because, uh, 30 seconds what they offer and then afterwards the the referrals that they pass on the tyfcb is really impressed me the structure in which the uh, meetings were conducted really impressed me and i said decision is taken there and there and ibrahim himself was the one to interview on the spot and i took a decision to go ahead and and join synergy that's really a great story to share with us thank you so much subash for that now, again, for the benefit of the audience, being platinum meaning you have achieved over 50 members in your chapter for a minimum of three months. And you guys have just hit it along with the Warriors last month. So how has this journey been like now? Abdul, you've been there for longest compared to all the three of you. How has the journey been from yeah. the time you started up to, up to now? Uh, see, for me, the journey has been really amazing and it was really wonderful and I can call it as a dream journey. Uh, why? Because Raki, if you look at my stars from last eight years or so, I've never been absent. So that's how excited I am uh, to attend every BNI meetings. As you all agree with me, 
uh, BNI gives us, you know, uh, enough visibility for our business and also a great opportunity to showcase our capabilities and achievements. And the best part of this, what I like, Rakhi, is, you know, uh, you get connected to a lot of reliable people in BNI. And I'm also I'm very fortunate to have got connected to a lot of reliable people here with whom I've already started a different venture. And, uh, you know, the best thing here, again, uh, you know, since I'm into company and corporation, I would need somebody like Faisal to do hotel bookings for my clients. I need, uh, say, for example, Shishir for website, Arjun Madhusudan for, uh, you know, bookkeeping, or Abir for auditing, or say, for example, uh, you know, some other members, you know, which generally would require uh, uh, services from my clients. So whenever I connect them, these gentlemen go out of their way to help my clients. And in the process, what happens is I get to build a very strong uh, credibility with my investors. And it creates a enough impression for them uh, to connect me uh, to their contact peers. And this is what has been happening for, for me with BNI Synergy. So this is the reason I say it's a dream journey for me. And of course, you're being seen as an expert in the room because people trust you with their connections. Now, because you've been in yes. Vienna long enough, eight years plus, and now you, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you're the largest chapter here in the region, 69 members now and counting. Yes. How yes, has the yes. journey been starting from a small team and literally growing step by step in the last couple of months, adding so many new members to your group? Yeah, there were a lot of special moments for us, uh, you know, when we had become a golden chapter, you know, when we when we grew and when we had become a platinum chapter and whenever our, you know, uh, name has been announced in LT Forum and all the recognitions, whatever has been done, it's been, you know, really amazing. Every bit of a meeting, we actually, you know, treasure a lot. That's amazing. And again, my next question, Ibrahim, that's for you. Uh, what have your learnings been from the past, being in the chapter for over five years? Anything that you've learned you would like to share with the audience? Anything that you've learned as a member that you've taken back into your business? And how do you plan to take it forward? Um, look, BNI is, is a visionary organization led by a visionary person. And uh, that really actually helps me a lot in terms of as an individual and as the kind of business I run because I am in the strategy business. So it's very easy. The learning has been the structure of BNI, how it has evolved over the last so many years with a small napkin sketch with Dr. Meisner and now with roughly 300,000 members globally. Um, I tell people, if you are part of BNI, if, if, they, if they're my client and some of them are, I say what BNI does is what exactly you have to do in your business. So I think BNI has provided that structure and knowledge that can be applied to just about any business. And the learning has been is that it has made my job very easy. You know, my, my professional job very easy because there are a lot of best practices. We get ideas from around the globe from people who are motivated. So it energizes me, it gives me ideas that I can take right into my business and apply to my client's business basically. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's been a journey of transformation for me personally. Awesome, that's great, Ibrahim. Uh, I don't know about any of you all, if you all have taken any roles previously, were you in the leadership team before and continuing or are you continuing into the next leadership team roles as well, going into the new term? Well, um, I, this is my first time in LT, I've taken other roles before, uh, mm -hmm. but as a leadership team, this is my first uh, time taking and yeah, I'll be continuing, uh, God willing, next term as well in the same uh, position that I'm serving right now. Amazing. And um, these two gentlemen will also be continuing. Uh, Mujahid uh, <laughs> will be part of the management committee, uh, membership committee. So Bash will continue, will take uh, his place as the VP. Yeah. So, so two of you to have them both with you. In the leadership team, yourself, Abraham, yes. as well as Subhash. Yes. Two That's of us are going to lead from the front. It's For us, great. Mujahid is always part of the uh, leadership team. We call him from VP to EVP. Absolutely. He'll share all his experience with all of you. I it's mean, my pleasure. continuing with the momentum of the leadership team, at least two of you are going to be stepping in. That's amazing. And it's going to be great to have that uh, continuity going on. Any plan or vision that you'll have set in mind between the two of you 
thinking of where do you want to see the chapter in the next 12 months? Look, from a vision standpoint, um, I think we are so close to the 100 member mark that it would be unfair to not focus on that at this point. I think what was a dream till yesterday has become a reality and more. So the LT before us, uh, Brian Khalil, Roshan, Pestel, uh, they grew the chapter to Golden. And um, we uh, took not as a six month term, for, for us it is 26 terms of one week. So we work on a laser sharp focus week by week. And I am so blessed to have these two gentlemen uh, to be supporting in that and putting up with me. And, you know, we are now going to be 70 members, hopefully next week. So the vision would wow. be for us to be a chapter, the first chapter in the region to hit 100. Uh, doesn't have to be in, in our term. It could be in the next LT, but that's the vision for Synergy. Would always like to be associated with it and serve in our capacity. I think we want to be a happy chapter. We want a chapter where people are happy. They're really building relationships. And uh, that is converting into referrals, which leads to a higher seat value. So I think we want to continue with the same passion. Synergy is known for building relationships. We are a 14 year chapter. And we want to take this forward because <coughs> our, all of our members, each and every one of them are great. I mean, I love them all. And uh, you know, they're adding so much value to my life and to, uh, to us as a team. And we are humbled that uh, we've been given the opportunity to lead. I think you like mentioned all the KPS, 14 years of being in existence as Synergy chapter, 20,000 referrals being passed so far, hitting 100 million, thank you for close business. And again, this is something which is really a moment to be proud of. And in these interesting times, how do you all keep your chapter engaged? What is it that you all do differently that other chapters can take inspiration from? Keep high engagement and uh, ensure that you know everybody is recognized for whatever contribution they do and we in the process we tease them how actually to get the maximum benefit out of their membership and you can carry on my brand from here uh so Ajay, you have anything to add to this yeah in, in fact high level of engagement with the new members as well as the senior members keeping them happy keeping them engaged getting uh, going and meeting new members have been taken out like how our previous LT had done. We are having not president's lunch, but we are having LT lunch. So we take the new members out and uh, ensure that, you know, uh, they are taken through the proper uh, process of MAP and they are trained uh, very well how to, how to you know, move forward in this. Look, um, I have a few things to share, if you allow me. Uh, it's about the three Ps. Uh, passion, people, and process. And uh, this is not what I came up with. This is Dr. Ivan Meisner, which was right on the money for me, is that it describes everything. So in terms of passion, you know, I'll tell you that uh, what we believe in is six by six rule. And um, what I say is that our term started six weeks before it actually started, actually. So we had our first planning meeting on 22nd of August while our term was going to start on 4th of October, we were going to be given the handover. And um, so we decided to uh, give this membership and this leadership uh, prime time, not spare time. And uh, we make sure that it get, gets our prime attention. The first thing in the morning, the last thing uh, when we go to bed, a synergy takes priority. For the next six months because we've been entrusted with this. Um, I'll tell you that we on an average communicate 1,000 times a month on our WhatsApp group, the leadership team. There are messages sent and received. I've counted them literally. Our average is 1,000. So that tells you the amount of communication we do. Um, we did a lot of things, you know, they brought in the laser sharp focus. And for us, Monday starts before uh, one day before sunday becomes monday and monday is a fun day for us this is what we have taken uh 26 term of one week not a six month term laser sharp focus a lot of planning uh, you know a uh, um, handful of plans and a bag full of execution that's what we have done and we have thoroughly enjoyed it i think we, the, the thing that i always tell these gentlemen is that this is a this is a great opportunity let's have fun 
let's have fun growing the chapter. And um, that's how we've been doing, you know, a lot of small, small things that has resulted. As a matter of fact, we believe in recognition. So we have passed till date, 125 pieces of recognition to different members, um, trying to figuring out who we can recognize for what. So 125 mementos and certificates we have been able to give people for their various type of recognition. That has brought the energy up. So I think it's, it's following the vision of VNI the true philosophy and working on the core values. These are sharp focus, lots of planning, lots of scorecard, lots of KPIs. Uh, difficult to sum it up, you know, because there's so much going on and we are thoroughly enjoying it. I'm sure a lot of the chapters uh, in the region, of course, people watching the video also will have a lot of takeaway tips and a lot of ah moments from that. It's a lot of planning that you guys do. And of course, that is why you are on the top, leading your way. And that's really good to hear about it. So thank you so much for sharing that with us, Vibram. And last but not the least, I know that, uh, as you all know, that the new term's gonna be starting very soon. And people are taking up roles. People have been asked to take roles. They're not too sure about it. And new members are joining yet. So what piece of advice would each and every one of you would have for members taking on roles? What would your piece of advice be to them? You see, all the new members, uh, I, I will always tell them that, okay, you, you come in, you understand, you understand the structure, you learn uh, as, as it is lifelong learning, learn. And after about six months or eight months, step up into some kind of a role because it requires some kind of a commitment, some kind of an accountability. So that gives you more confidence, that gives you, uh, uh, what do you call it? be proactive and uh, initiate with all these kind of uh, you know rules so i think uh, it will be good if uh, new members step up into role and take some responsibility take some accountability and work for it if you have taken the role uh, deliver it. that's amazing good piece of advice what about yourself Abdul? Yeah, uh, follow the basics, uh, stick to the fundamentals of BNI, be accountable, be responsible, be credible, and ensure whenever you get a referral from member, immediately follow up and show your member that you are dependable. And uh, yes, uh, whenever, you know, uh, whenever you're having a one-to-one -one with your fellow member, ensure to understand in details, try to build a deep, meaningful relationship uh, and here in BNI, every member has a potential to give you the biggest opportunity of your life. It could be your dream referral or it could be your dream re uh, cream referral. So, you know, whenever you're having a one-to-one, -one, just please ensure about it to understand each other in details. Wow. Those are a few words from our veteran, Abdul. And let's hear last but not the least from Ibrahim. Uh I think people need to give um, their BNI membership a different sense of purpose, a bigger sense of purpose, you know, give more meaning to their membership. And once they start seeing that bigger vision and uh, think of them as, you know, on a journey of transformation from where they are to where they can become, uh, looking at some of the members who we always highlight who have been around for so many years, you know, I think it changes the ball game. Uh, the way you look at things, will will change the way you look at you know how you're going to behave and uh, my advice to uh, newer members would be when you come in you know bring lots of positive attitude you know look forward to learning don't rush you know understand that you're planting seeds of success and uh, you're going to reap the benefit if you stick around and if you just pass the one year mark you know by staying and making sure that you learn, I think you're going to make a fundamental, phenomenal networker. And all I say is stay, just stay, don't trust. If you've joined, you've paid, you've come in, can they get connected with a bigger sense of purpose and stay and the magic is going to happen. And it does. Uh, it has for all of us. Absolutely. And that's what it is. Be patient. And then you should definitely sow the benefits, read the benefits. So that's all you guys thank you so much for being here with us and thank you so much for sharing all your wise words of uh, advice and all your experience with us that was amazing to have you all with us 
And here's wishing you more leaps and bounds of success and hitting more KPIs and making us proud. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. I'd like to uh, uh, take one minute, if you allow, to dedicate the success to all Synergy members who are so dear to us and whose presence and whose commitment bring us and make us what we are. So kudos to the entire Synergy team. <laughs> Yeah, and I also would like to take this opportunity to thank all my BNI members, you know, who have supported me throughout my journey. And also a big thank you to national office, big thank you to regional office, and thank you to you, Raki, as well. And to this gentleman who's been really amazing, this entire tenure of this leadership team. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Who's you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I would, also like, I would also like to thank all the members for their support to bring this chapter to the level that it is now. And I don't want to also forget the DC. Our DC has been very, very supportive, ambassador as well. So regional office, national office, thank you everyone. Thanks a lot. And we will continue to rock further. Definitely, I was just about to say, keep rocking you guys. Thank you, Raki. Thank you, thank you very much.